The title of the presentation is Age Estimation Based on CT Chest Analysis of Ossification of the Zephyrional Joint in Living Population Age 35 to 50 Years. The aims and objectives are to find out the reference age group where there is complete ossification of the Zephyrional Joint in men and women, and to find out whether the ossification of the zephyrsonal joint can be used for age estimation in the age group of 35 to 50 years. Identification is necessary in various medical legal scenarios like determining the age of criminal responsibility, statutory rape, victim trial by juvenile or adult court, and identification of victims in the case of decomposed remains. Age is a vital baseline parameter in both civil and criminal cases. The legal age of consent, retirement age, concessions for senior citizens, and age of marriage are some of the important applications of age determination. Age identification can be done by legal or scientific methods. Legal methods include documents like birth certificate, school mark sheets, voter IDs, etc. However, they are not universal and are falsifiable. Scientific methods include physical, dental, radiological, and forensic examination. Radiological methods have an advantage of being non-invasive and can be applied in living as well as dead subjects. CT scan has better contrast and by virtue of its 3D reconstruction, it can be used for studying skeletal structure accurately and in high detail. This efficient joint starts to fuse in the third decade and is fused completely by the fourth or fifth decade. This is an observational study design with a sample size of 384 patients. The inclusion criteria are any patient of Indian origin in the age group of 35 to 50 years who are registered in our institute and are undergoing CT scan of the chest for any indication and those who are willing to participate in this study. The exclusion criteria are history of trauma to the sternum, pathological lesion in the sternum, or systemic bone diseases like osteoporosis. Triplanar and three dimensional evaluations of the zephyrsonal joint were done on the CT console using 3D CT volume rendering technique, maximum intensity projection, and multiplanar reconstruction projections with proper window settings. According to Kaneria et al., the fusion of the zephyrsonal joint can be graded as grade 1 for new fusion, grade 2 for partial fusion, and grade 3 for complete fusion. Figure 1 shows A, C, and E are anterior posterior views, B, D, and F are posterior oblique views. A and B shows non fused zephyrsonal joints, E and D shows partly fused joints, whereas E and F shows complete fusion of the zephyrsonal joint. The study population was divided according to their gender and age, ranging from 35 to 50 years, as shown in Figure 2. This is a pie chart distribution of subjects by the fusion status of zephyrsonal joint. 33% of the subjects had unfused zephyrsonal joints, whereas 58% shows complete fusion of the joint, and partial fusion was seen only in 9% of the population. Figure 4 is a chart showing comparison between percentage of completely fused joint in men and women by their age. About 100% of the female participants and 96.6% of the male participants show complete fusion of the zephyrsonal joint by the age of 50. For the same age, there was no significant effect of gender on the fusion status of the joint. The mean age of complete fusion of the joint was found to be 46.3 plus or minus 3 for men and 45.5 plus or minus 4 years for women. Age after which 95% of the participants show complete fusion is 37 years. On the contrary, the age after which the joint remains unfused in only 5% of the population the p-value for all the correlation is less than 0 0.001, which is significant.
Our results are distinct from the previous radiological studies based on both radiographs and CT scans, which suggests the difference in the ethnicity of the population, which needs to be considered in medical legal scenarios. Technical parameters, such as the slice thickness of the CT scan, can also affect the image resolution and thus influence the estimation of the age of complete ossification. Further, the intrinsic characteristics of the population sample can also affect the mean age. The application of foreign standards for the estimation of biological attributes in human skeletons results in reduced accuracy. Certain limitations to a study were that the lower age limit was 35 years, at which some participants already showed complete fusion of the refusional joint. Thus, inclusion of these participants in the study sample would affect the overall mean age. It is also affected by extreme values, and in our cases, there is a predominance of values at the extremes of ages. The socio-economic and nutritional treatment of the participants was not taken into consideration. Thus, the CT assessment of ossification of the deficient joint is useful in age estimation. The mean age at which the complete fusion of the joint occurs in men and women is 45 to 46 years. The chronological age of the individual can be estimated to be greater than or equal to 37 years when the zephyrsional joint shows complete fusion. Similarly, in a case of unossified zephyrsional joint, the age of the individual can be estimated as lesser than or equal to 45 years. There is no significant difference in the age above which men and women show complete ossification of the zephyrsional joint. Thank you.